Alright guys, so before I even get started, I want to give this guy all the credit, SimV. Dude, you are awesome. You have revolutionized my workflow for basically creating selection sets for animations. You can see he posted a comment on my Daz Mixamo Marvelous Design and created T-Pose that transitions into an animation video. And he posted this workflow over here. I gave it a try and it actually worked out really well. And I thought it would be beneficial just to put a video together so that anyone else that's encountering maybe any issues or doesn't have access to rip the Riptide plugin can use this alternative method to create selection sets. So thank you some V. All credit to you buddy. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, alright so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to transfer these selection sets uh, to an animated garment. Now in my previous tutorial that basically covered the T-Pose to animation, I used a plugin called Riptide and basically for some people that was a little bit of a problem because they had to go ahead and actually buy the plugin but now I'm going to be showing you how to do that with the native tools in Cinema 4D because by default the file that we'll be working with, an Alembic file that contains animation, does not have selection sets. This is the default Alembic, there's no selection sets. So I'll show you how to create this version of the Alembic with all of these selection sets. And this is going to allow you to apply different materials to these different areas. So if you created a garment chain marvelous designer, you can see these different areas have different materials on them. You'll now be able to access those selections on your garment in Cinema 4D. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I've got my garment. If I was still going to, you know, work on this in ZBrush, I would actually quadrangulate the entire garment. But for this purpose, it's fine. So I've got an animation on here as well that was recorded. You'll see you click play. That character is animated. And take that back to zero. So we're going to export two files an OBJ. So I'm going to select everything file, export, OBJ selected. I've got a folder here and uh, I can leave the select all pattern single object unwell thin uh, that's fine I usually apply thickness in ZBrush centimeter okay click on OK and then you want to go file export and do it for the Alembic HDF5 as well so these are my export settings I've already exported this out unwell thin right good to go so now in Cinema 4D, first thing you want to do, you got a new project, you want to file, merge, and you want to bring in your Alembic. So here's my Alembic file, and I think it's 300 frames. The entire animation, let me just scrub through here. Yeah, 300 frames. Now, again, you can see the Alembic has no selection set. So if we, if you create a shader and you drag this on here, the entire garment is going to be one material and that sucks because in Marvelous Designer you've probably got different areas over here that have different selections on them different colors as you can see over there so you don't have that freedom in Cinema 4D so like I said we're going to be using the selection sets from the OBJ on the animation so to do that we first need to bake this Alembic into PLA so you have to go to window timeline this comes up drag this into here make sure that's selected go to functions bake objects and select PLA and click on OK it creates a copy All right. and the reason why that copy is not animated is because I dragged this material on here so undo that delete the material you want to make sure it's in its default state go to window timeline and let's just do that again this is in here functions bake PLA there we go. Okay, so remember, make sure it's in its default state. You could see over there, even a material applied to it prevented it from working. And now from here, you can see it created a copy, which is actually uh, ge like geometry. So I can actually go ahead and hide this. And here's our copy with the PLA. And it's completely animated. You can see there's even keyframes on the timeline. So now what we want to do is to get the selection sets. Remember we exported out of OBJ. Go back to tutorial. Well, my folder over here. Go to OBJ. Import your OBJ. Here's my import settings. Click on OK. Now you can see, let me hide this copy, that your OBJ has selection sets. Right? Which is awesome. So to get these selection sets over here, since we've already done the PLA, I can literally 
go ahead select all the selection set, uh, sets and drag and drop them on here so now if I hide the OBJ bring this back here we go you'll see we've got an animated garment with selection sets on it so it's really important that you bake that PLA so that you can get all of this now you can texture these sections individually and have your animated garment so really awesome and another super cool thing is you can see it's got its own UV tag on here so I could even delete this UV tag and that original uh, OBJ that we have over here we can do so much more with this uh, if we had a program like unfold 3d we could modify the UV space and the UV islands to allow a higher textile density in different areas so that materials look a lot better we can take this over to ZBrush and sculpt seams on here uh, like you uh, use this as the low then duplicate it and create a high poly and start sculpting seams and doing other crazy stuff on this garment and then you could take it over to Substance Painter bake the high onto the low and start texturing that in Substance Painter save out those textures and then import that into Cinema 4D Octane Render and then literally apply that material onto this a PLA copy of our animation and it will work so you'd even have a textured a garment Oops. you'd even have a, a textured garment animated garment that's basically referencing uh, that T pose OBJ oh and if you wanted these these folds to be a lot cleaner if you go to your object over here you have this fong tag you can see the fong angle is currently on 40 if you put that on 180 let me deselect that you can see it actually kind of like smooths uh, smoothens it out so that's another way just to get rid of all those jagged edges so yeah this is basically how you transfer over selection sets from a OBJ onto your animated garment so it's super useful you don't need any plugins you just use the native tools in Cinema 4D super easy to do and we've got all of those selection sets on here and it's animated all right okay guys so thanks for watching the tutorial you are now equipped with the knowledge to create transferable selection sets for your animation so yeah have fun with that feel free to show me what you end up doing with your animated garments as well you can contact me on instagram at mr david's 2 or find me on facebook or just message me directly here on youtube all right so thank you for watching the tutorial guys stay tuned for some more tutorials and goodbye